Welcome back. Super excited. In this lecture, I'm going to demonstrate how to download the Kindle Microsoft Word Beta plugin. So what this does, it'll help you to create your eKindle ebook, right? That's what you're using Microsoft Word for to create. And what we can do is we can format the manuscript in Word and upload the finished .docx file simply to Kindle Publishing. So it's a wonderful plugin that's in beta stage. Okay, that means it's still in development. So there may be some additional changes that may come about. But nevertheless, very powerful tool that I figured will help you guys. And let's jump right in. All you need to do is just navigate to this URL, or you can of course search in Google for Kindle Word plugin. Okay, and you'll be navigated to the Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing page. Once you're on this page, simply Scroll down and you will see the download now button. And this again supports Word 2010 and above. So typically if you're using Microsoft Word 2010 or Word 2013 or even Word 2016 or 19, it'll work with those. So let's go ahead and click on download now. And this is going to go ahead and open up the Windows Explorer where you can simply navigate to the folder where you like to save the executable file. And let's go ahead and I'm going to use the same folder here and click save. And the download process is going to begin. So once the download is completed, all you need to do is simply run the executable file by clicking on this. You could also do it by navigating to your Windows Explorer folder and then executing the file from there. So it asks for the user account control permissions. Simply go ahead and click on yes. And the installation process is going to be starting. And then the first screen that you'll see is the setup, which is simply a welcome to Kindle Create add in for Word 0.98 setup. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. You can read the license agreement, scroll down if you need to, or simply click on I agree. Choose the installation location or the folder where you like to save or create the destination here. So here you'll have the option to select the location for the install. If you're satisfied with the destination folder as being the default, fine. Otherwise you can always click on browse and choose your own folder. So once you click install, the installation is going to begin. And of course it's going to walk you through the install and the progress bar is going to show you the progress. And a quick Note that it also downloads the Microsoft Visual Studio Runtime tool. If you have not installed already, it's going to download those for you. So this is also going to install and configure the Kindle Create add-in for Word during the installation process. Perfect. So once the process is completed, let's go ahead and click on what you need to do is click on Next. And then what it does, it allows you to launch Microsoft Word directly as soon as the installation is completed. So what you need to do is click finish and this will open up Microsoft Word for you. So it's going to go ahead and open up Word and I'm using Office 365. If you're using the desktop version or any other version of Word, whether it's 2013, 2010, 2016, or even 2019, that's fine. This plugin will work with that. So once Microsoft Word is open, I'm going to demonstrate where it is that you can find to configure your Kindle or KDB. So what this does is, as soon as Word opens, of course, gives you a dialog box. And here we can learn about Kindle Create add-in for Microsoft Word. And if this is your first time, that's fine. Let's walk through it so it's easy for you. What this does is it allows you to format your book for publication on Kindle, and it's much, much easier that way. So you can click on Get Started, for example, Kind of shows you the preview. You can also check out the marking elements, what you can do with it, such as the drop cap, the actual spacing, the tabs. You can preview your entire book in a tablet or on a mobile phone, which is great. So it, it gives you the built in previewer, which allows you to directly from this particular add in to see what your ebook will look like on a particular device. Paperback options you can upload the finished Word document, Kindle Direct Publishing. 
and publish as a Kindle ebook or paperback. So again, we have both options. So let's go ahead and click on finish. Now, one time in Microsoft Word, you will notice on the menu bar, there's an option called Kindle. Okay. This will automatically be configured for you as soon as the plugin is installed. It's great. So if I were to click on this particular tab, it'll bring up a whole new set of options and tools that will provide me to format my ebook. So one of the groups will have getting started, then insert into book, by common elements, have this own set of tools, by elements by type, current page formatting, review, and then preparing. If you click on the help underscore and click on view sample book, I'm going to go ahead and in fact click on it so you can actually see a sample ebook. That way it's easier for you to not only see what the ebook will look like, the other benefit is that you can actually use the sample and build your own ebook right from here. Okay, so you don't need to start from scratch, which is wonderful. So here it is. Here's a sample ebook. And you can scroll down again and take a look at it. Different chapters, how it's formatted and configured, right? Notice the margins are already configured. So all you need to do is basically start writing your own book. And that's all you need. And once you're done, you can publish it directly from this particular tab under Kindle. So this is a powerful tool that makes creation of ebooks a breeze. Okay. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. And with this, let's move to the next lesson.